So today, Michelle and I are meeting up with Charles of the Mari Food Trail, who's going to be preparing us a meal. Yeah, but there's a catch, David. We have to gather our own food in the forest first. Wait, 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 wait a second. What do you mean? We're going to be gathering our own food? Charles is going to teach us all about the different edible plants and herbs that he uses in his cooking. He takes their traditional Maori way of preparing food and mixes it with modern ingredients. How's it going? Good, thank you. Hi, I'm Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Charles. Hi, I'm David. Nice to David. meet you. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. My name is Charles P.P. Tukukino Royal. I'm a chef by trade. I got into food tourism because I could see that there was a lot of interest from overseas and also to be able to show our culture. If a culture loses its food identity, it's near impossible to get back. That's why I took this task on, on because a lot of young people don't know there's food in there. And uh, it doesn't take much to get in there and, and gather enough to give yourself a, a feed for the day. What I'm going to do today is take you through the bush and then uh, have a look at some of the plants that are used um, as traditional uh, health and well-being plants for uh, um, your skin, vitamin C's and vitamin E. So there's going to be a lot of plants that we're going to oh, good. see today. I, I forgot to eat breakfast, so yeah. it's perfect. I love plants. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cool. So when do we start? Now? Yep, right now. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Just tell me which one to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no grubs. We're herbivores. Yeah. <laughs> uh, herbivores. Okay. Oh my god. So this is the environment that we pick in. Just having a look at these plants here, okay, this is the koakoa, and the koakoa is an um, antiseptic. It's also used as a um, tea or a tonic, okay, and the best way to, uh, to get that s smell is to either get the shoots or the small young leaves, okay. Now put them between your hands, rub it, and you can smell it, or you can take a bit off and eat it. Okay. I can eat it? Yep. I'm an eater. Yeah. Good for um, if you've got like oh, it's um, a, it's a like toothache. Basil. Yeah. When we harvest, we harvest the leaves with all the holes in it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Because the insects will eat that leaf. So it's got to be good. This is all part of going back to nature mm -hmm. and it's traditional knowledge that have been passed down by the old people. Okay. That you eat the one that has the holes in it. Because yes. it's more delicious, that means it's yeah. better. And the medicinal value is stronger. That's what Because the, of what because the it has the essence emits. from yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. And also what we've learned over the past is that if you harvest on the northern side of the tree in New Zealand, uh -huh. okay, it grows back quicker. So it's all sustainable really? harvesting right. as well. Yeah. Because if I saw that at the supermarket, I wouldn't buy that one. Because you want the one that's all. Yeah. Is non that that's like none? Yeah. But that, that's that's kind that of makes like sense. amazing. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense if you really think yeah. about it. I love how the Maori people really respect the earth and their surroundings. It's amazing that everything they need is all outside, pretty much right in their backyard. This vine is edible. It looks pretty woody there, but right. if you follow it along, see where it ends? Yes. See here? It's a little flimsy, huh? Yeah, a little flimsy, correct. See the end piece here looks like an asparagus? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You can just bite it. So how do you eat it? You break it off, a little bit of water will come, and then have a taste. You can bite that end piece and bite that end one. Yeah, you can snap it off. You want to taste it? Snap it off. then. I think the... Do you just put this in a stew? It's or kind of like salad. Uh, you can steam it, you can put it into a salad. Yeah. But only the end piece, right? Yeah, because it gets pretty woody after a while. Because what mm. happens is that it grows from the ground and it goes up the tree and reaches for the sunlight. Oh. You oh. see? Now see this here, this is uh, pickle pickle. Pickle the pickle. Fern. This yeah. one? Fiddlehead fern. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we just oh. grab it? Yep. This one right here. Yep. Now what you do is that you this pick one? it, maybe about that long. Okay, maybe about, no, 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 no. This the one? Frond. Oh, this one. Yeah, so pick it maybe about there. It's got a natural snapping point. That's it. Oh! See the one next to it? Oh my god! That's yeah. the, um, that's the koru? Yeah. This is swirly. Oh. This is amazing. And how do you eat it? Um, you can eat it raw. You can um, steam it. You can stir fry it. You oh. can boil it. You can put it into bread. To us, it means like um, new life and new Except beginnings. New life and new beginnings. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So have a try. See what you think. 
You know what it tastes like? It tastes like this one veggie. I don't know what it's called. Try it. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like a radish? Yeah, like a radish. Mm-hmm. Mm. When you lose it, um, radish uh, flavor once you cook it. Look, here's some different types of mushrooms oh. here, look. <laughs> oh, there you go. Here's some small ones there. You found mushrooms! Yeah. <laughs> this isn't the poisonous one, right? I don't know. <laughs> all about this right now. <laughs> hey, don't play with your food. <laughs> oh, it's burning. So this is the ear mushroom? Yep. The one that, Haki but they're ear fungus. huge. Yep. Ooh. How long has this one been growing, you think? No, that's an oldie. That's the green daddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. You know, he... <laughs> That's why I didn't touch anything. See if you noticed, <laughs> she was pulling everything. Yeah. Because I know that that big one has probably been sitting there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> that was so not scripted. <laughs> she, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh my gosh, running through the forest made me so hungry. David and I couldn't wait to try out all the great food Charles made. So what I've got here is a little bit of pickle pickle oil, oh, okay. okay? So I'll put that in here. I've got a little bit of chicken. Mm. And then with this chicken, what I've done is that I've uh, marinated it in pickle pickle. How did the Maori uh, cook their food? In the hangi, in the ground. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the Do ground. You? We would dig a hole and then we would get some rocks a light a fire and then heat the rocks up. Oh my god. So what is that I'm smelling? You're smelling um, beef and pity pity. Pity pity. Pity pity is like a contemporary uh, oh, look at pepper. That, that is beautiful. So I'm moving that over here and keep I'm trying to keep everything hot. Now I went out fishing. You went fishing today? Just for you guys. What? That's yep. crazy. Okay, now have a look at that. <gasps> oh what my gosh, that? what is that? White bait fritters, baby fish. Mm. And they only come into season in a short period of time. Would you like so some, you darling? <laughs> little eyeballs. This is a favorite, man. You guys are so lucky. You can mix that <gasps> in. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Mix this together. Break yep. the yolk. Yep. Oh, right. hence the fritter. Right? Hence the, the fritter. Egg. Yep. Oh shit, he's fine. So how are we looking? Yep. It's Good. um it's it's getting very eggy. Very yolky. With your critters. Yep. Alright, let's go. So you usually in Maori tradition do the women cook or do the men cook or how does it work? The men dig the hole. Okay. And then yep. Can I just go dig the hole. Go, go. Yeah. <laughs> it's already dug. <laughs> are those mussels? I sure are. Oh my god. What is that? That's a camel camel or marrow. This is pickle pickle chicken. So we've got the powdered pickle pickle. Okay. And coated it in, in the chicken breast. It looks and then amazing. We've um. I sauteed them. It smells amazing. Yeah, and then we got the salmon here, okay? It's and beautiful. the salmon's just got a little bit of um, manuka honey on it, so it's a little oh. sweet. Okay, pickle pickle bread. We got pity pity uh, sambal, which is a spice that I use um, utilizing horopito and horopito hummus, pickle pickle pesto, kawa kawa. And while you're going to sample some of these, I'm just going to whip up a quick dessert. Oh my amazing. gosh, you're really serving it up. Which one you want to do first? White bait. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. With our hand. Ready? Okay. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's kind of like, like imitation crab kind of, like really light white fish flavor. Really? It reminds me of um, squid. You want to do the salmon? Uh, yes. <laughs> All, right. All right, let me cut it in half. They're going to be like, they're eating with their hands. This is how the barbecue people eat with their it. hands. Okay, ready? Okay. All right, boom. Clunk. 
Oh, I can do, I can do some honey. honey. Mm. Oh my god. That's amazing. It just melts in your mouth. You don't want the skin? Mine, mine the honey? Skin. Mm -mm. I'm gonna rub that salmon on my face. Chicken or, or beef? Um, let's see. Maybe just a little bit of chicken. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think that? <laughs> Mmm, that's the um. The chicken here tastes different. It's really clean. I guess like we're so used. Baby. Yeah, they run around in mm -hmm. New Zealand. New Zealand. Kiwi chickens. See these uh, dessert there? They got a little bit of passion fruit on there. Oh, yum! So what is this? That is um, a kawa kawa pavlova. Okay, and with the pavlova, there's uh, passion fruit, a uh, kiwi, oh and do you know what fijoa is? Or oh, that green one there, see the green thing there? That's Fijoa. So you know how in some countries like France they say bon appetit? Yep. Is there an equivalent here in Maori culture? Yep, it's called Modi order. Modi order. order. You get something like something to eat. Okay. Modi order. Modi order. Modi order. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Love that white bait. Oh yeah. Mm. Amazing. Yeah.